guys, and welcome to my channel. This is Escape Art by Scott. And if you are new to seeing my video and you want to see the, the long introduction, I normally would say just you know check out my other videos and that'll uh, get you uh, caught up. Uh, my uh, the last video I done oh about six seven days ago that was my uh, 40th video that I've done for YouTube. So if my math is right, I believe this will be number 41. So see what happens, guys, when you stay in school. You know, you get that get that education like I got. See how I figured that out? I don't math. Now then, <laughs> let's get let's get on with this. Uh, this is a, a 18 by 24 canvas, and I have a horizontal instead of vertical. It's horizontal. Well, horizontal, big word for me. Anyway, but anyway, uh, today I'm going to have the, the sky lit up in blue and have some trees. I need your side. Now today is morally you're going to focus on uh, foliage and plants and things like this here. And also, I want to have the trees running off the canvas and then coming back around and having some trees uh, limbs coming down uh, off the canvas right here. It's kind of nice having something going off the canvas and then coming back around onto the canvas. But ah, let's let's get on with it, and, and then I'll show you. And I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got me some pressure blue on my brush here and I'm going to go ahead and wet this canvas down just a little, just lightly mist it and then that will make the application of this paint go on a little smoother and some pressure blue and I'm going to start way down here just like this here and just paint all this in right through here Then we get a little bit more I'm right down here. Now this is uh, again this was Prussian blue. Now I want to get some uh, phthalo green and just come right here at the edges. I'm just paint all that in right here at the edges. Some little phthalo green. Of course, you can't hardly see this. I can hardly see it. I'm standing right here next to it. There. Alright. Now I got me some white paint. And right where the, uh, where you want the, the, the brightest spot in this painting will be. Could be over here, here, wherever. And let's say I want mine. Let's see right here. It's come right in here uh, with your white paint. And see how it picks up that blue? No problem. It lights it right on up. Now you're going to come out here and catch up some of this uh, uh, phthalo green. See this? It does this automatically. Uh, no problem. Don't have to fuss about this uh, or nothing. My little technique right here. All right, I want to keep going and doing this, and so I'm gonna have to make sure if you are doing this particular painting, you need to wash your brush constantly because when you go on your into your white paint, your brush needs to be clean. So remember that because if you if I go back in my white paint with this brush, you now I got a uh, uh, blue and green on this brush. I go back in my white paint. Well, eventually that's gonna turn. So uh, keep your uh, paint. Uh, as clean and pure as you can all right so i'll be right back all right i got that old sky looking the way i want to do i ain't gonna fuss too much about this up here because uh, i'm gonna be covering up with some limbs and leaves of trees and things so someone's gonna be covered up so i ain't gonna worry about it too much now i got me some uh, sap green yellow and a little bit of white on my brush here just to lighten this up and i'm gonna come right down in here It's putting it in a nice little thing of green. Nice little metal, whatever you want to call it. I like that. I'm going to keep going with that. Now 
I'm just doing this so I want to put my trees. I got something the trees is growing out of, all right? <laughs> There. Now I'm just going to go straight into this plain old yellow. Just come right up in here. Man, that sun's coming through and just hit some of these. And all you got to do is just do that. Just to lighten it up this little. And if you get something that's too bright, just go over with your brush. It, it'll take it right away. there all right i'm gonna put my trees in now and uh what i want to do is all i did is mixed up maybe some black and blue and uh so i'm gonna come right up in here i got my little brush you can put this down with a palette knot if you want to however you want to do it first i gotta decide where i'm gonna put this so i'm gonna put it right here and just come straight down And have it run right off that canvas. And you, you can tap the sides of it and it just give it a little more feel of a bark. If you go like that, it's just going to be a straight edge. Unless you want that, that that's fine if you want that. So I'm going to do the other side over here. All right, and I'll be right back. I got a lot of the uh, trees are still drying. I'm, I'm coming back in here, and I'm just putting out some leaves, just using the corner of that brush, just the very top corner, and just coming in here and putting in some nice kind of loosey leaves, uh, I guess you would call it, uh, because uh, you know loose, you know you can see the sky uh, through it. And I, I was using another brush with this side, but I didn't know which one I, way I wanted to go. But that was too much. That's too much. Too much leaves, I guess. And just come right in through here. See, leave that opening right there. And I want to continue doing this, guys, and then uh, and I'm just gonna go all the way around. All right, and, all right, and then uh, I'll be right back. See, another thing I wanted to point out before I go is that instead of me putting my limbs in and my little twigs and all, I put my leaves in. And then I'll come back and put the uh, the arms of the tree and the limbs and stems and all this other stuff. Because, you know, again, I said it in my other videos, okay, uh, now this is my, my personal view of it. I don't know if it will hold up in court or not, but if you go ahead and put your limbs and twigs and sticks and all in here, then you come back when you leave, well, you done covered up all your stuff that you just put in there. So this way, uh, I put my leaves in, and then I put my uh, limbs and stems and stuff. All right, so um, I want to continue on doing this. Be right back. All right, guys. Uh, while my leaves are all drying up here, the trees are nice and dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint these uh, trunks of the trees. I made me a mixture of some brown and some yellow ochre, and leave it kind of marble light. So when you dip it in your palette knife, uh, it's not all one color. You know, leave it broken up some. So just come right here. Here's a light source around here. And uh, so I want to highlight this, the edge of this. All you got to do is just touch it. And as you're working your way towards the right, like I'm doing, 
it is uh, less and less paint. Something like that. Over here, do it on this side. this and uh, all right and I'll be right back I'm going to come back and highlight uh, these leaves here not covering up all the uh, dark color I had the sap green I just got plain old sap green there just where you know you think the uh, light might hit pretty good that time that one I just did and I said, every now and then you, I know for me you know I'll get lucky a little bit and uh, I'll get just the right amount of paint on the brush and uh, whatever I'm doing turns out looking pretty good and I'm gonna go continue on uh, highlighting this as I work out from the source of light it's going to get darker and darker all right so uh, i'll be right back all right guys now i'm going to put in the old tree limbs and things now it's going to start looking like a tree come right up here with your little one liner brush and just start cropping these in you understand now what i was saying i put these limbs in and then I come back with all these leaves, it's going to cover up all my limbs. Now I get to put them wherever I want to. And uh, I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to finish this up, putting these limbs and all. And make sure you guys hit that old like button for me and subscribe to that channel. Again, my little videos that I do, they're not really high tech. Uh, I don't use a lot of, you know, technical words. I, you know, I look for very, you know, easy way of doing things. You, you know, uh, it takes a lot of, really it takes a lot of hard work, a lot of thinking a lot of hard work to keep from working right so uh keep that keep that one in mind and uh all right i'll be right back after i put in these limbs all right got my old limbs on all in here the way i want it now i'm gonna come back down here work on the bottom here and uh, putting all this foliage in this is where the foliage comes in and i got i'm using an old filbert brush here today and uh i just got some basically some sap green on this because this uh, the foliage I want a little darker than this so all you do is come up in here and drop in your little bushes and stains come right through here so like that This is a good way to clean up the bottom of your tree. So it looks like your tree now is sitting into the grass, not on top of it. I 
again, if you are new, this is the way I paint, is that I'm not looking at nothing when I'm painting. I'm just, I worked on this painting a few days in my mind to get it right. Now I'm painting it. So uh, I'm just going by what, what I think this painting should look like. I've always said this is basically my thoughts on canvas. Now some of the people that I come across to, you don't need to put your thoughts on canvas. So uh, you need to keep that to yourself. You would all would appreciate that. Let's go ahead and put it in. I'll be right back. I just thought of something, seen something. I'll be right back. I think I'm gonna put me a nice little path in right here. So I just got a little fan brush, the same, that same color that I've used the tree trunks with, and I'm gonna come right here, look like it's gonna go around this tree. Just with the fan brush. Try to get this as level as possible. Maybe it's come this way and then it shoots back this way. Path. You just highlight a little bit right in here. A little more. you get this effect is with your pad is right here should be wider than this here make this smaller as you come forward here to here it should get larger and larger wider and that'll give you that illusion of distance going back all right and that's how that's done all right i'm gonna step back and see what i got i'll be right back all right, I'll, I'll put on another small little filbert. I thought I'd put some rocks through here, some stones. And uh, so put a little black on one side, a light color on, on top. That's called what you call a double loading brush. And just come up here and make all your little stones. Wherever you want them. This is where we want stones at. There. Yeah, I'll be right back. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on some, some more uh, grass, more highlighted grass. I'll put some green and some yellow on here. Right through here.
And again, now don't cover up all your black, alright? Continue on putting all this in, alright, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm about done with this. I got a few minutes left on the old uh, camera here. I'm gonna come out, give me pick out little spots right in here and just highlight them with some just clean white paint. And kind of rub it in. Then you can come right here and just make some sun rays. Look at this. This one right here coming behind it. And that is how sun rays are made. Well, I take that back. That's how I make it, okay? Again, pick out another spot. Let's see right in here. That's a little shorter, some a little shorter, you know. And, and always make them straight. Oh, I'm going to work on that, but, uh, I'm going to call this one done, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Nice little painting, nice little quick painting. And I can see I'm running about running out of time here. So, again, uh, uh, share it, folks, and, uh, and hit that old like button. Subscribe to that channel. And until next time, guys, I'll uh, see you later. Take care.